Hey guys, it's Mark from the Mobile Hotspot, and today was iOS 5 day. Aren't you guys excited? Uh, I, I was, I was, but uh, let's dig into it. Okay, as you can see, based on the user interface of iOS 5, it looks almost, or 99%, the same as iOS 4. Um, of course there are some new additions like iMessage, Reminders, Newsstand, and of course Tab Browsing. So let's dig into it first. Tab Browsing is one of the most uh, most important things for me at least for multitasking and viewing multiple websites at once. As you guys know Android tablets have, have always had um, tab browsing and it's basically uh, second best in terms of experiencing a desktop uh, browsing environment and the new Safari has definitely improved on that and they, and they recognize that you know the users really need tab browsing and as you can see here we're a mobile hotspot and let's say we want to go to another website let's try Engadget I like, to, I like to add that the browser is very fast. The overall uh, system has definitely sped up because of iOS 5. Whatever they did to optimize it, it is definitely working. Of course, browsing here is as usual, super smooth. Let's see if there's some checkerboarding. No checkerboarding. iOS 4 had definitely had a lot more checkerboarding than this. and. If you want to, let's say, go CNN. Super quick. So from a browser standpoint, it definitely matches Android Honeycomb now with the, the Chrome, mobile Chrome browser. Because um, that's all they really needed to compete. Now they they have matched up, and then it should be bringing a lot of competition in terms of internet use and browsing for iOS and Android. I'd like to get into iMessage. Well, one thing that most of you guys have been wanting, a lot of BBM users have been staying with BlackBerry because of BBM. Now iOS 5 offers iMessage. iMessage comes across the board with iPod Touch, iPhone 3GS, iPad 1 and 2, and iPhone 4S, of course. So that's a good feature. I won't get too much into it right now. Um, I will have more d uh, demos in the future, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys how it looks like. As for mail, looks identical. I don't see anything different. I like to talk about newsstand. Newsstand is a cool feature where uh, people can subscribe to magazines, and uh, you know, as if they would to so buy a hard copy. This is a lot easier and a lot better, in my opinion. People don't want to go out to a store and buy a hard copy. People want to see everything in digital form. So. If you can subscribe to the internet and uh, through an application like Newsstand, why not? The four ninety nine, for example, Golf Digest is four ninety nine. The overall experience is pretty good, I think, in my opinion. So you can change the interface here. And uh there's there's other minor tweaks to iOS five that uh, they, they probably didn't mention, but uh, something simple like like the sliders are rounded off now. They're not so edged, so edgy. Um, I don't know what the proper word is, but uh, you guys know what I mean. But a uh, little little minor tweaks like that is always good to see that they're they're trying to change some stuff. But I mean, the, the overall user experience remains the same. Um, unfortunately, we, we're not going to see a new uh, UI like all the Android offerings. But uh, you know, it's a good, simple platform to use. And uh, for a first-time tablet user, iPad is definitely the choice I would go go with. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced and you want some more more feature, uh, more options with uh, customization with widgets and all that stuff, then I would definitely pick Android. One of the 
Samsung Galaxy Tabs, um, Asus EPad Transformer, um, you, you know those ones that have been reviewed quite uh, often on YouTube and uh, have received quite remarkable um, ratings. I'd also like to talk about the keyboard which was changed. Um, there is an option for a split keyboard. If you guys can see here. So I have the keyboard is split on each side, which really which really makes it easier to type. And no matter which mode you are in, the keyboard stays the same and the distance is always the same. So it's I think this is a good improvement because I don't have big hands, you know. It's not small but it's not huge either, so for me to to reach across the screen to, to get to like the letter Y or a T. Um, it was hard for me. But uh, I think the new keyboard, the new tab browsing, iMessage, um, the overall uh, speed of the iOS 5 is uh, definitely a welcomed uh, feature. Um, in terms of Sun Spider, well, you know, a lot of the iPhone 4S have been benchmarked at 2,000, 2,000 something uh, scores in terms of JavaScript and browsing. Um, surprisingly, the iPad 2 on iOS 5 was around 1,800 compared to uh, two, around two, the low 2000s with iOS 4. So uh, huge improvement with the JavaScript. As you guys know, the GPU in here is remarkable. And of course, in the iOS, uh, iPhone 4S as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, leave some comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like. See you guys later, or hear me later. Hmm. That was weird, wasn't it? <laughs>